Hey everybody, welcome to another addicted fishing video. Today we're out here on the lake. We're gonna do a little trout catching hook for you. Fishing is fantastic so far this morning. Already got us a couple on the stringer here. And what we're gonna do today is a really fun, cool little catch. Oh, and he's gone. Damn, there goes dinner. So stick with us, everybody. We're gonna get our limited trout really quick. We're gonna fillet him out, and we're gonna do that special little white claw batter. Go ahead, if you guys haven't already, comment below with how you think this recipe is gonna taste. I think it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna use a lemon white claw and a, and a kind of a home style batter mix. Mix it all up, roll this fish in it, give it a little seasoning, and then fry it in some butter. So I think it's gonna be delicious. Comment below with what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun. All right, so mission plan, mission statement. Two of us are gonna walk, Marlon in life we're gonna take off walking around the lake me and sean are gonna hop in and row the ditch pickle express all the way across the lake to the far side where there's no people and hopefully by the time we do that marlin and Leif make it about halfway down the bank here and we're gonna come back i'm gonna j stroke my way back by myself pick them up row back over to the good bank and we're gonna start fishing here sounds like fishing is pretty darn good the boat that just came in so Basically, we just gotta get away from anybody that's swimming or kayaking or whatever. There's more people here than we thought we're gonna be here. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna find some fish and we're gonna cook them up for you guys. So wish us luck. So guys, as immediately as we got out here, I start we were paddling across and I look down and I'm starting to see trout everywhere. Literally, like I'm seeing like dozens like swim by the boat at once. I'm seeing them just do little cookies. So we decided, heck, those guys are walking. So let's grab the fly. Tossed it out a couple times. Made a couple of casts already. Haven't seen a lot of action. What I think I need to do is get deeper because I'm noticing is a lot of these fish are like right down on the bottom. So I'm gonna change flies here after about two or three more casts because again, there's enough around and the water's clear that if I even get it close to one, we should be biting. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's coming for it. I can see him. I can see him going for it. Got him. Oh my God, he just crushed it. It was actually on the fall. So this time I'm gonna let it sink a little bit longer. Let it just sit there. He absolutely crushed that thing. Oh, there's so many of them in there. Oh my God. Okay, made the game plan decision. Switch into the red and white bobber. About five and a half foot a liter. Going to bait. We're going dirty finally. Couldn't help ourselves. Couldn't help ourselves here, so I'm just gonna break off about three quarters of a worm. Excuse me, probably like half, I don't know. Thread it up the line a little ways. I'm gonna toss them out, and we're just gonna kind of wind drift here, because once again, if you guys forgot already, Marlin did forget our uh, much needed battery for the trolling motor here, so now they're stuck on the bank. I'm gonna actually just let us float across so I can see him and uh, Leif over there on the side of the lake. So I'm gonna just kind of free drift this float, let the wind blow us back over here. We're gonna put a couple of them in the boat, row us back over to probably this little island here. It seems like a lot of fish are getting caught. Um, and then we're gonna reconvene and just start nailing on them for you guys here. Oh, I'm getting a bite right now. Yep, 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 got him. Oh my God, dang it. Okay, get him. Get it back out there. That was working perfectly. That thing was just kind of free floating sideways. That bobber's just kind of going back and forth and back and forth. And then all of a sudden you saw it start straightening out. It's almost like that indicator straightened out and started to swim away and I might've set hook a little too early. So what I can already tell is kind of happening guys is as we're floating and drifting with the wind, I'm not really getting down in the strike zone. It doesn't seem to me, there's some fish jumping and stuff, but as I'm standing up on the bow and and or excuse me on the seat looking and seeing these fish all of them are like down on the bottom swimming around there's other people around us that are starting to catch them subsurface like off the bottom with some power bait so i'm going to go even simpler than that i'm going to use just the little butt piece of this worm i'm putting it on a, just a shad dart jig head honestly and that's going to keep me down in the strike zone a little bit more let me see am i going to get hung up no that's perfect so same same throw this out here let it drift with the wind. Hopefully, hopefully, getting down that strike zone a little more is gonna help us. The trout are easy to catch, it seems like today. So, oh, he already got him. Yep, got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Got him. It worked instantly. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. Sweet. 
just a healthy little guy. And this lake, when you're using bait, oh, see, that's exactly why. Look at, he's even got a <laughs> fishing line coming out of him. But in this lake, if you're using bait, it's mandatory to keep these fish. So, because I'm using the bait, limit of five fish here. What a beautiful little rainbow, man. Look at how awesome that little thing is. Look at these colors. It's got a little red on his gill plate. Total freaking rainbow. And I love those spots on his head. Okay, I'm gonna add this little guy to our makeshift stringer here, little carabiner. Toss him back into the live well. That, that's it's what it takes sometimes, you guys. Just a little bit of change, a little bit of variation. Just keep trying. Anybody that stops catching fish, if they're biting and you see them getting caught around the lake, is because you quit trying. Uh, in my opinion, and what I mean by quit trying is you quit trying new things. Every about 10, 15 minutes, if what you're doing isn't catching them, and you can tell that the bite is on and other people are catching them, then you wanna get changing. You wanna try to find something and adapt to that different sort of variable that you're dealing with. And just like that, first cast, thing hit the water for like five seconds. And I have a pretty strong feeling that that's gonna happen again here. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Yeah. This is like a little bit nicer one. <laughs> that didn't take too long at all. Oh, that's a little healthy little guy. All right. Look at this one. I might even have kept my worm safe. Oh, no, it's gone. Let me grab him here. And we don't need a whole lot of fish. We've got our buddies with us, but we don't need a whole lot of fish to get our recipe done so there's two I'm gonna get myself back out in the lake a little bit further and we're gonna start casting again the jig head really kind of set this off and I wonder too if that just that little bit of different color you know that, that little chartreuse and orange that's on the head there might be helping us as well catching those fish's attention I know it sure caught mine all right I got a good feeling about this I think we already got bit. Oh, yep, yep, it's getting nailed. Oh my God. Totally whiffed. Whiff of the century. Stripped me. Okay, came on. Got him already. Oh, come on. Come back for it. Come on, come on, eat it. They're really messing with me out there. There he goes, got him, got him. Oh, he came off, dang it. Oh yeah, Insta hammered here. Okay, so we parked the boat, we went and picked up our counterparts. They were on the bank, making friends. I waited out here, that wind was just pushing us around so bad, we were just getting our butts kicked. So, went and picked up our friends, got them out on the island where we saw the most fish. Now I waded out to this nice big boulder. And uh, now we got a new fishing spot here. This is where we definitely saw the highest concentration of these fish though, so. Might have worked out for the best. All I know is I got a hit instantly. I think I need to get a little further out there. Oh yeah, that was it. Oh, I just crushed it! Oh. Does it have it? I think it has it. I saw a flash. Oh, man, I got my spotter. The bobber got hit so hard it was making a splash, literally. That's a nicer one, too. Oh, what an epic jump! Wow. You see that? Little rainbow trout. Hmm. All right, we're that one that much closer to a limit. Got him. Dude, I think that's a big round. Oh no, it's a rainbow. Dang it. It's a nice little trout though. Got another nice little one. Gonna add him to the stringer. I think he's gonna be the tastiest. I can just tell by the way he is. Oh my god. Oh, dude, drained it, drained it. Oh my God. He's fighting every ounce. He's he's 10 pounds if he was an ounce. Oh, dude, we're ending on a trophy. We're ending on a trophy here. Holy crap. That's a nice one. 
Oh yeah, peeling crack. <laughs> Listen to him, dude. He's ripping. Got him. Nice. Well, getting quite the meal going here. Well, we got our thumbnail picture taken. I like to take a lot of time for these thumbnails so you guys are encouraged to watch these videos. If you haven't done so already, I would wanna say I really appreciate you guys tuning in and sharing this experience with me today. Go down here and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and turn your bell notifications on, go down and do it because it's gonna allow you to see when these videos come out every time and it's gonna get you a little more encouraged to click on that when we got here and film all these cool trout things or go have a catch and cook on the side of a river or all these thumbnails that we're taking pictures of. So be sure to do that. Smash that like button. Let's go flay our trout really quick. So what I'm gonna do just to start basically, I'm just gonna gut these bad boys. I'm gonna try to save as much of this meat as I can because these are so small. But I'm gonna be frying these things in a batter once again. So I want as much of the meat as possible. I'm actually not gonna throw any of the guts and stuff in this little creek. And take this Take this as a note everybody when, when you're out on the river or on a creek or something and you're camping in a, in a public area, you should always pack out and throw away your fish in the garbage instead of throwing all the carcasses and stuff in the camp. Especially if you have like an area where there's bears or something else, you're gonna end up attracting stuff and or just raccoons or you know little critters that you don't necessarily want in your or anybody else's camp. So I'm gonna get each one of these cleaned out. Take just a couple minutes. All right, so I'm gonna do these little trouts, just like I do a salmon or steelhead. I'm gonna run that knife right along the backbone. All the way down there. What I'm actually gonna do, to make this easier on myself, is I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna keep that tail connected, pulling that skin back towards your blade, just like so. Move it back and forth, and whammy. You got a skinless fillet. Okay, so now I got my nice little pile of meat here. You can see the ingredients that I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna go wash this stuff off and get some of the bones off again. But you see I got my lemon white claws. I have my Pride of the West batter. If you guys have never seen this Pride of the West, I don't know if it's something that's a little more prevalent on the West Coast um, or out in the Pacific Northwest, but it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a beer batter basically. And so and that's why I'm using a different kind of beer. One that would actually go with it really well. I had this idea that just popped in my head and I'm like, man, one, these white claws are super trendy. I know I drink the heck out of them during the hot, on a hot summer day. And I was like, you know, we do beer batter for stuff all the time. Something that would complement a whiter fish or like a, tr a trout or something that you're going to put a lot of batter, or like add a lot of flavor to is, you know, beer and, and this. But so I'm going to use, I'm not even really going to season it because this has some seasoning mixed in. I'm going to mix the lemon white claw into it and I'm going to fry it in a pan with some butter. But first, let me get this stuff in the water, get it washed off and then we're ready to eat. do before I really get these things going in the batter I'm gonna take these ribs get rid of those ribs and I have you know these are little trout so you don't have a ton of meat coming off of them but that's why we made sure to keep a limit so that we could have enough meat for a nice little tasting what do you think what do we got going here man we got a little little uh, secret recipe secret actually it's recipe. my first time trying it so we're all going to be the judge. And if they can like nibble on a little bit? Not or? yet, not yet. Damn. We're almost there. We're about we're about to start frying. I thought it was cream cheese. I was going to steal some of your cream cheese. <laughs> I'm hungry, man. Take Where's little, the food? Take a little fingering. The next step is I'm just going to take my Pride of the West batter. And I'm going to add about, I don't know, to get this fish is probably going to take about one cup. So I'm going to go about one cup of batter in there. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my lemon white claw. We're gonna work some magic here. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna add probably, it's like you see in there, it's about a cup or so. I'm gonna add, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna say probably about one quarter can to start with. I kinda want this a little bit thick. You see kind of why already I would wanna use, like my, I had this idea to use this white claw is because that foaminess, that foamy nature, that, that that's what happens in that, that rye and that, you know, that, reaction in between the, the liquid, the, the uh, liquor and the, the fermented stuff in that white claw. 
is going to keep that batter nice and thick and fluffy. So I want it to get pretty good consistently where I'm going to be able to roll that fish in there. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm kind of getting down towards right at a quarter can there. But you can't ever take it out. You can always put it back in. But Mama always said. Get that good mixed up there. All right, so now that I got that stuff kind of at a really good consistency here, got it down, like I said, like about a half melted milkshake. We're ready to go. I'm just gonna take all my fish here and just toss it on in. Right into that batter like you would any walleye or rockfish or, I mean, anything that you're gonna beer batter, halibut, anything of that sort. The nice part, you know, these little trout don't always offer as much meat, but the nice part is that, you know, trout are, are fairly bony fish. But when you get these little ones, those little bones actually, if you cook it just right, will actually, they'll break down and they'll get soft to where if there is a little bitty bone in there and you eat it, it doesn't get stuck in your throat. It's not too firm. It'll actually kind of break down with the meat and it won't be quite as difficult to eat with the bones in it. So, okay, so I'm gonna light my grill here, get this thing going. I wanna set it at about a medium heat because these pieces of fish aren't too big. If I had a bigger piece, I might wanna cook it even lower. But these kind of little griddles, get really hot really easily so it's easy to overcook stuff it's easy to burn them so I try to keep that pretty low in temperature got about a quarter stick of butter in there okay here goes nothing everybody okay so I think I'm getting a pretty good little golden but oh my god it's perfect I'm gonna try for the full pan flip here Oh, nailed it. That was epic. Woo. I'm glad I had some witnesses for that one, you guys. All right. Well, we're looking pretty good. Gonna get a little smoke up. Oh, God, they're perfect. Yeah. And the one thing, too, like the outside shell is pretty well cooked. These are thin pieces of meat. It's gonna keep cooking as, it as the pan starts to cool down and stuff. So I'm gonna let that just kind of simmer on down. All right, this is the moment of truth, everyone. This one looks like the best one so far. Let's bust that open and take a look. Ooh, meat's nice and cooked. Got a nice thick breading to it. That's probably the best part so far. I, the thing I can see about using this White Claw, the lemon one, is that it made that batter really, really tacky. And I think this batter's kind of tacky to begin with, but it made it stick to the fish really well, so. Oh my God. It's actually really, really good. A little hot. But it has a really nice crisp to it. Again, those bones cook down where I don't, I can't even feel the bones in there. These are like the perfect size trout for this recipe. Mmm. That is delicious. You know, like mom always says, anything's pretty much good fried in a half stick of butter. So I think that helped a lot. Today we had our good buddy Life in the house with us out here in the mountains filming some stuff. He came down from up north in Washington and visited us. And so I'm gonna take him a little sample, see how his little kitchen cooks go and follow me. Well Life, how's it coming over here? Dude, I cut open a trout that like looks like a salmon. No way. Dude, look at this one. Oh wow. That's some red meat, dude. That's the I'm football. doing like a that's the football trout. The football. Doing a meat comparison. Brown trout, cutthroat trout, and two rainbow trout. And the results are surprising actually. Really surprising. Well, if you the guys want to see this video, he actually had himself a pretty cool day of fishing. Be sure go down and check out a link in the description. Come a little more. What are you gonna do next? What are you cooking? I'm gonna eat your food is what I'm yeah, gonna do. Yeah, eat now. this. This is the first step. Is this the first step? Yeah. Have, have you guys already eaten? Yeah, it's really good. I had to bring it over to you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Didn't that turn out nice? That looks beautiful, dude. So, okay. Smells delicious. Crispy. Right? I think we have something new on our hands. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't That's already, go down, check out this guy's channel. He's doing a cool little burrito today. We're gonna head back over to camp. I gotta still feed you guys. Yeah, I need this. I need a sample of this stuff. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, we really appreciate you joining us out here today. If you guys haven't already done so and you like these videos, go up here and click this link to this other fun video that we have. 
go down here, hit subscribe, click that little bell notification, stay tuned for more of these videos, and go down and drop a comment below and interact with this video, and we'll be picking a comment of the day on every one of these videos. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. You stay fishy, and we'll see you out there.